I've been sitting on a little bit of vlog footage and I've got a few items from MAC that I'm going to go ahead and haul for you guys. And then if you're interested in the vlog stuff, it'll be towards the end. Because I know some of you guys really like to see the vlog stuff. But otherwise, I've got some MAC products to share with you guys today. And I had planned on filming the Too Faced Bon Bon palette video today. I've been waiting that for that palette for so long. <laughs> and right when I put my eye makeup on the palette came and I'll, it went to my mom's house that's why I didn't get it right away <laughs> and I was like man <laughs> now it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow but so we're gonna go ahead and do this one these first products are the MAC Velvet Tees lip pencils and I purchased two shades this is a um, fairly new launch from MAC I picked up the shade um, Tease Me which is a, a light pink shade and they do come with a, a twist up on the bottom so you don't have to sharpen them and I've worn this one twice uh, so far, and they're kind of that dimethicone type feel. They almost remind me, something about them reminds me a little bit of the NARS Velvet Lip Pencils. So that one is Tease Me, and then the one that I have on today is the shade Frolic, and it's kind of a coral shade. I have it on with Charlotte Tilbury's Pink Venus Lip Liner. Um, the thing about these, if you have even remotely, I think, chapped lips, I think it's going to grab onto that those dry parts on your lips because I have my lips are in pretty good condition and I kind of noticed a little bit of um, settling in the my lip lines and both of the colors are really pretty but I'm not sure how I feel about that particular aspect of the product however they do look they look quite matte especially for me and I can't with the um, the liquid lipsticks so this might be a better option for me and then MAC released some more shades of the huggable lip colors and made them permanent and they're one of my favorite lip products from MAC as well so I picked up the shade extra sweet and I've worn this a couple times as well it's like a, a warm baby pink coral showing up pretty true in the viewfinder but I love this I love this formula they feel so nice on the lips and then um, MAC that's um extra sweet did I tell you guys that and then MAC released uh, also Huggable Glasses. And I'm not a big lip gloss wearer. I have a couple lip glosses because I do like a shiny lip, but I, I'm not fond of the over stickiness and then hair <laughs> getting in my lips. But I wanted to try this one because the Huggable aspect in the lipstick formula I really like. And this is this is a nice lip gloss for what I'm after. It's, it's really smooth. It almost just feels like a, a thinner, shinier version of the... Uh, lipstick and I really like it. This is the shade um, Marvel Lush and then I did purchase two products from the Mac and Ellie Goulding collection I purchased the lipstick in the shade without your love and it's a cream sheen and I've worn this twice so far I wore it yesterday too and this almost feels it's so comfortable on the lips It almost feels kind of like the huggable, but this is what the color is I want to pick up the other one as well, which I believe is a little bit darker than this one but I, I wore this with Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, and it looks so good. This feels so nice on the lips. So that one is um, Without Your Love, and this is what the packaging looks like on the Ellie Goulding stuff. And then from that same collection, I also purchased the Patent Polish Lip Pencil, and these are another one of my favorite lip products from MAC. Um, and this is in the shade Revved, right there. It's like, um... It's got a little bit more uh, orange in it than the lip color, and I think there's some, some a slight little bit of gold in it. But again, these are really, really comfortable on the lips. So that's the shade Revved, and that's what the packaging on that looks like. I kind of want the other one of these too. <laughs> and then MAC did the Oh So Rare sale. They did 25% off on their holiday palettes and kits, I believe it was. So I purchased a couple items from that situation, and I don't know why I thought that these were all new shades, but I did. This is the Irresistibly Charming Patent Polish set in the shade Pink, and this is what the packaging looks like on here. And then you open it up, and there are four lip colors in here, and I'm pretty sure that these, I have these two already, so I know those are permanent, but I don't have those two. Um, but I think they're all permanent shades, which, which I didn't know, but is fine because I really, really love the shade um, Kittenish, which is one of them. And the other one is Patent Pink. I've actually almost gone through a full size of Patent Pink. I really love that one. This one is Patent Pink. This is probably my favorite uh, Patent Polish lip pencil ever. I love it. So that one's Patent Pink. And then this next one is Kittenish, which is a great everyday one. These feel so nice on the lips as well. And... I love the way they smell, that slight vanilla scent. And then this one here is called Pleasant, which I don't have. It almost looks like a coral red. Um, yeah, oh, it's kind of a pink, a kind of a pinky red. 
pinky red coral color. It's pretty. I, I didn't think it was going to be that um, bright. And then the last shade in that set is the shade Fearless. It just looks pretty as well. Ooh, that is nice. I don't have these two. I, I, for some reason, I thought they were more intense looking colors than they actually are. So I'm happy about that they're not. <laughs> then I purchased the Purple Times 9 eyeshadow palette. And I believe that there are six shades in here that are limited to the quad, and then three I want to say are permanent, but I'll go ahead and read them to you guys. There's a Sweet Lust, which is a luster, Poignant, which is a satin, Slightly Sugared, which is a frost, Man Catcher, which is a frost, Satellite Dreams, which is a Voluxe Pearl, Bonne Nuit, which is a matte, After D Dusk, which is a Voluxe Pearl, Beauty Marked, which is a Voluxe, and Shadowy Lady, which is a matte. And I slightly used this a little bit yesterday, but I haven't really given it a full go. Swatch for you guys. Might as well swatch them all. They're swatching pretty good. Kind of hard to get my finger in, fingers in those little circles. These ones are the .02 ounce size, so they're not full size eyeshadows by any means. So there's the last three. And I love some purple eyeshadow, so that's kind of why I picked up this guy. And then the last MAC item that I have to show you guys is the Eyeshadow Times 15 palette. And this is the one that's called Nordstrom's Finest. And it was on the MAC website, but it was it was listed like as sold out. And here Nordstrom had it as price matching, so I got it for 65 So it was also the 25% off mark. And I wanted it since it came out, but I never plunged to get it. And so I was really happy that I got it 25% off. So this is what, and these are the full size MAC eyeshadows. Let me read off the shades. This one is Beaded, which is a frost. Goldmine, which is a frost. Chains of Love, which is a frost. Cork, which is a satin. Persuade, which is a matte. Retrospect, which is a luster. Green Smoke, which is a luster. Felt, which is a satin. Print, which is a satin. Carbon, which is a matte. Then you have Orb, which is a satin. Luscious, which is a frost, soft brown, which is a matte, tracks, which is a voluxe, and then plumbed, which is a voluxe pearl. Should I swatch these for you guys? Might as well, right? I haven't even touched this one yet. Let's see how she goes. But what a, I mean, as far as pricing for MAC eyeshadows, this is was a heck of a good deal. And I think they have 15% off going on on their sets right now. I didn't see if this was still on Nordstrom's for that or not, but. And we'll do the center row. Oh, these are really swatching out pretty nice. And then these guys. Sometimes uh, MAC shadows, I feel, are pressed so hard that they create hard pan really easy. But And then here's the last row. Right there. I'm really excited about this. I This is the first time I've swatched any of the shades or anything, and the colors are really pretty. Right there. So that is the Nordstrom's Finest palette. Now, if you're interested in seeing a little bit of farm of vlog stuff, you can hang tight and we'll get into that right now. Otherwise, um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye. My mom's dumping some oats and then we're going to try to back here. Let's see if we can zoom in. You guys can see them. See them right over there? So, we're gonna go get them.
She's really looking over there. Say hi, Dad. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Chucky. Goodbye. Now we're gonna go for a ride. Here's another pile of hay that we hauled in. He's a of course, I've been riding a four-year-old stud. And he is an own son of Dean Miracle. And he's great. <laughs> You guys remember that little pony I bought and I posted on Instagram a while ago? This is him. And his name is Hot Rod. And my mom's riding him. Say hi. Hi. 